Have you ever wanted to take your stupid keyboard and change the letters on it? Well now you can. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use any old DSLR or even a point and shoot to take a picture of your keyboard and change the letters inside of Photoshop. Now the keyboard that I'm photographing is called a Saytech Eclipse 2. It actually has a big backlight underneath it and can change colors, but that's not the point. Um, the point is that you put your camera on a tripod which will make the image look tack sharp and totally clear. Okay, so here is our picture. Uh, now I'm going to immediately just duplicate the layer so I have two keyboards. And now I'm going up to image canvas size and I'm going to double the amount of percentage of the height value. That will just leave more space up at the top. And now what I can do is I can drag this keyboard all the way up to the top. And now all I have to do is grab the clone stamp tool um, and adjust the brush size. That's about good. I'm actually going to use a pretty soft brush for this. Maybe about 30%. And now all you have to do is simply make it big enough to cover the entire letter. So about 200 pixels is good in this case. And now, all, you, all I do is push Alt on the letter that I want to copy in the top layer, and then click. So Alt and then click on the letter, and then move it down here and place the letter on the keyboard. The, the top keyboard is just uh, something to grab your letters from, and the bottom keyboard is the actual picture that we're dealing with, because we're going to crop this. Um, later on. We're going to crop it to right about here. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So we got that picture done. Now let's just spell out a word. So Alt, click, and then click again to just paste the letter. So now you can see I just erased a letter. All I did with that is I grabbed my rectangular marquee tool, I selected the letter, and then I pushed shift backspace. And then it'll give up it'll bring up this little dialog box and you want to make sure you have content aware on there. So we're basically using content aware deleting basically. So that's gonna fill in the selected area with the surrounding areas, the similar pixels. and content aware is I believe it's only available in CS5 and above I can see using content aware uh, deleting or filling whatever you want to call it it doesn't always work the best, so sometimes you have to use grab the clone stamp tool again and just kind of get rid of those these little halos that you see. And now you, you can see that this key is kind of damaged. Um, and in order to fix that, I'm just going to grab my clone stamp tool as usual and just clone this area back in and fill it with a uh, normal area. But you can see that my letters are actually on the top layer. I kind of... Well, I didn't really mess up, it's just that's how it is, so... I'm actually going to flatten this picture by going to Layer Flatten Image. And now what that just did is combine those two layers so I can work with everything at the same time. So to repair, I'm just going to alt click on a blank area and just kind of put back in the areas that are damaged.
There we go. That's as close as I want to get it. I don't want to spend too much time on a letter. So I'm just going to go in and finish up deleting uh, this these top row of keys. And bammo, it's done. So here's the final picture, of course. It says photo extremist because this is the photo extremist show. So that's the word that I used, but you can use any type of word. And of course, your keyboard does not have to be backlit to do this. You can do this with any keyboard. The important part is that the picture comes out clear and sharp, so you have to use a tripod. And you get the cloning right, and also the content aware filling right. And of course, you can get little stray areas, little errors that it missed and just fill it in with your clone stamp tool. So I hope you like this tutorial and leave a comment and subscribe.